welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you from St. Ives, which is way far down southwest on the coast of Cornwall. And it is my second day in St. Ives, so I'm gonna do a dedicated video, kind of travel vlog style on St. Ives, let you know what I get up to. On tap for today, I am gonna explore the super adorable town of St. Ives. I got a little sneak peek last night when I ventured out for dinner and it is just so, so, so charming. There's all these great boutiques, all these really narrow, charming streets, and I've also booked in a 4 p.m. entry at the Tate. So if you're familiar with the Tate in London, um, there's two different Tate kind of museums in London. They actually have one in St. Ives as well. So I thought, well, since I'm here and it's gonna be raining in the afternoon, why not give it a look? So that's what we're up to today. And I do wanna do like some kind of little coastal walk kind of vibe if the weather permits. So it's gonna be a jam packed day, but right now I am off to breakfast at my hotel, the St. Ives Harbor Hotel. So let's get this day started. guys me again so change of plans um i am gonna go to the beach next instead because it says it's 63 degrees out and cloudy on the weather app but it is blazing hot sun and it feels like it's in the 80s right now so and also at 11 it says a 40 percent chance of rain so i'm gonna go down to the beach for like a walk and i'm gonna change and put something beachy on because Gotta be serendipitous and seize the moment on vacation. All right, outfit change sorted. Now let's go hit the beach. Now we just gotta find our way down that way. So let's see, how cool is this? How it goes? So to put it in context, this down here used to be a tennis club, but clearly is not anymore. And then that down there is the beach. So we have to get down across the train station and over there. So off we go. All right, I found a path. Off we go. So pretty with all the flowers. I feel like we're somewhere tropical and not in England, that's for sure. Ooh, and the sun's coming back out. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So you can go up to the street that way. This is the hotel. And then guessing we go down this path. Let's see how it goes. And then here we are at the train station. So let's see how we get around this. the other and just enjoy the sunshine while we have it so because apparently from 11 a.m. there's a 40 percent chance of rain and that's in like 15 minutes so let's see if the weather forecast holds true or if we get to enjoy more of this gorgeous weather because 
life is not bad right now. We're strolling on the beach, the sand is so soft. Water's chilly, but just dipping my toes in it actually feels nice, so. Oh, here we go. So to put it in context, we're all the way down on the beach now, and that's my hotel right up there. So, not a bad walk at all down here, super convenient. There definitely are quite a few water sports going on around here. I noticed can, like kayaks and all of the um, kind of paddle, the paddle boats, which I think if you had more time and more organized, it would be super nice to kind of hire one for a little bit and give it a try because the water's, as you can see here, just super mild. It's more like a bay than um, a proper ocean. Really different from Watergate Bay where we just were. far end of the beach now and there are clouds behind me <laughs> which is a bummer because the sun has gone. You can see that's the culprit. Let's hope it doesn't check it down on us but I feel like this is while at a British beach right? Anything can happen <laughs> especially the weather <laughs> but it has been a nice walk although it is getting a little chilly now without the sun. Oof, and my hair never felt sexier. Hey, the sun is coming back out again. Oh, it was getting really cold there for a minute. Happy we're prevailing from the rain cloud thus far. But, oh, can you hear that? Just the waves crashing. The very tiny waves, but I could see why this is such a family friendly beach because it just, it's nice and easy for the little ones to swim in. I'm enjoying it. we begin the hike back up to the hotel. All right, so, ooh, you probably can't see me at all. Um, so I just spent about 45 minutes on the beach. Was lovely, but we just kept losing the sun and it got really cold and I didn't bring sleeves. So loved it, highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, now people are coming, so BRB. Me again. Actually, the walk back up is really not bad at all. It's like, I think one or two little sets of steps. No. All right, now I am all cleaned up from the beach, just wearing some jeans and a white tank. I might regret this because it looks like it's gonna be warm and humid today, but it also is gonna rain and I just don't really wanna be wearing a dress and ballet flats if it starts chucking it down because it actually got really cold around 5, 5 or 6 p.m. yesterday. Wow. So now we're gonna go explore St. Ives see all the little towns, do some shopping, and then at 4 p.m. I've got my Tate St. Ives um, museum entry booked. And also wanna probably, if I'm hungry, either gonna be an ice cream or a lunch involved as well. So let's see what we get up to. Oh, what a difference a day makes. Look at that water. We just feel like we're somewhere tropical, not in England. If you can see this from here, I'll try and zoom in. But that bus, um, it's the I forget which one it is, but there's a bus that literally goes all the way from St. Ives to Penzance, and it has an open top bus, like an open top roof, and it picks up right from this uh, viewpoint that I've been at called the, the Malakov. But you see the bus station, which is like it's actually right next to a place called Harbor View House, so I can link that down below. But it's supposed to be a wonderful thing to do. Um, but as you can see, there's quite a massive queue to get on it, and I think it only leaves like every hour from St. Ives. But I think it's like an hour and a half kind of bus ride, and it drops you off at Penzance, and then you have to figure out how to get home from there. But I was it, it was recommended to me by the hotel. That was really funny. As I was leaving that um, scenic lookout point, one of the guys was like, excuse me, miss, I have to ask you a question. He's like, are you talking to your phone through your camera? <sighs> oh, I had to explain to him that I'm making travel videos for YouTube. And he was just so, he was so funny. He's like, oh, I thought you had like hacked something. <laughs> no, it's 
YouTube is so funny. Even when I'm trying to be discreet, I cause a scene. So I wanted to go check in this boutique called Sand. So I need to go find my mask, but it's a little home shop and it looks so adorable. This little place, Western Grill, has such a cute little terrace. I'm gonna show you a cheeky little peek. Because there's nobody in here. Look at how pretty that is. So lovely. I was just going somewhere and I saw Reese drive by from the St. Ives Harbor Hotel and he's like, you're going the wrong way, go this way. So I'm officially a local here already. Hilarious. Memorial Gardens and there is the absolute fattest cat coming straight at me. It's like you have entered my territory. What are you doing? Hello? Are you a friend? Oh, hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, what a charming little spot with the flowers and the palm trees. That's just adorable. So this here is the St. Ives Parish Church. So this memorial here from the Memorial Garden is actually in memory of the men of St. Ives who in World War from 1939 to 1945 and the Great War of 1914 to 1918 gave their all in giving, raise men's ideal of what man may become. Wow, profound words. After a bunch of shopping, I decided, who needs lunch? I decided to take Charlotte's recommendation and she said, if I want to have ice cream while I am in St. Ives, I have to go to this place called the Moo Maid of Zenor. What a name for a shop, seriously. And then she said, if you like salted caramel ice cream or you like honeycomb, you have to try Shipwrecked, which is basically a salted caramel honeycomb ice cream. Sounds decadent but it's actually it's it's not as like decadent as it sounds it's really really lovely actually and I almost feel like the honeycomb is like the salted caramelly kind of vibe of it but there's like crunchy honeycomb in it and I had that and I had um I think a salted almond um 
praline or something, which was also, I had two scoops, because when you're eating ice cream for lunch, you have to have two scoops. It's just the rule. Um, so that was fantastic, and I was totally terrified that a seagull was going to swoop in and eat it, so I didn't dare taking any pictures of it. But you'll have to take my word for it, and thanks Charlotte for that recommendation. Okay, so then, we are now at what's called the island, or St. Ives Head, and we're gonna go do a whole little walk around this. You can see it up that way. All right, so just to give you a little perspective of St. Ives and how far we've come. So we have like a little beach down here, but then on the other side of that is actually like the downtown area of St. Ives. And then all the way like up, see where the, that is in there, there's another beach. And that up there is where the St. Ives Harbor Hotel is. So really tiny little area, but quite lovely. And you really can easily spend a very low key kind of day here. But I'm excited now to see some a little more, a little bit more of nature and that blue ocean some coastal views and right up there we have that's called the National Coast Watch Institution looks very official there they've got the best seat in the house so let's go take a look around then I don't think they want you to go down this way because they've blocked it all off which is a little awkward and then that's the old cathedral that's on the island which is cool so yeah let's do it all right off we go ready to explore locks down here. getting a little closer to 3 p.m. and honestly maybe it was all the sugar from the ice cream but I was hitting a wall and I was hitting a wall fast so I decided that I had already booked in for 4 p.m. at the Tate St. Ives so London has a Tate Modern and um, our Tate Modern and like actually just the the Tate um, and then they have a Tate St. Ives in St. Ives that actually celebrates a lot of local artists um, that have either kind of visited or have kind of spent a considerable amount of time in St. Ives and the building is stunning. They have this kind of open air atrium that is just all glass that really brings in all the bright blues from the ocean and uh, so I did a quick little search online and realized on their fourth floor they have a cafe so I was like perfect I can have a coffee maybe a little snack and just kind of sit down for like 30 45 minutes and then i can go experience the tate 
Um, it was really not crowded at all. Um, I did actually book a ticket way in advance first thing in the morning just because every other thing I've tried to do in St. Ives has been like, I'm sorry, you didn't book you're not doing it. So learn my lesson, but actually I don't think it's that big of a deal, um, or at least wasn't when I visited for the Tate. So cafe on the fourth floor is lovely. I feel like it's like a, a hidden gem of St. Ives because you do have some indoor, um, some indoor options, but you also have all these kind of um, outdoor terraces that look down on the beach. So you literally can be like sipping on your coffee, having your cake, and just watching all of kind of the and you know the the gorgeous kind of sights from a very high vantage point divine and the tate i think closes i think i saw online it closes at like five, a little after 5 p.m so i literally had like the last kind of showing window time and i have to say the art collection was lovely i really enjoyed it i really tried to read and learn and just take it all in so that was great and then after that, um, I was still feeling just a bit like, ugh. I think I was just, you know, I had already walked. Sorry, I'm taking my shoes off. If I look weird, just I just realized right in the middle of recording, I need to take my shoes off. Um, <laughs> um, I think I just I hadn't drank enough water for the day. I had walked over five miles in the bright hot sunshine because spoiler alert, it didn't rain at all, and it was sunny and warm the whole day. So. When you come to Cornwall, don't get dissuaded by if it looks like it's gonna rain all day, every day, because it might not be the case. Definitely hasn't been the case on my trip. I got stuck in the rain in St. Ives once, and I had to leave a terrace in Newquay once because of the rain, so yeah. I mean, for a five-day trip, not so bad. Um, so then I just was like, oh, I'm just feeling a bit like meh. So I decided to kind of like meander my way back through town, trying to think about what I wanted to do. And Charlotte had given me all these good recommendations, but I remembered in the back of my head that there was this place that was probably about five minutes walking from the St. Ives Harbor Hotel called, it's called like Pedden Olva. I'm probably not pronouncing that right either. I should just call my channel, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, travel blog. And they have just, I know they have like an indoor restaurant and they have roof terrace. So I was like, let me just see, cause it's, it's like not even 5 p.m. yet, like maybe a couple minutes to, let me just see if I can like sneak my way in. And as luck would have it, I did. Um, I mean, feels like such a victory in a place like St. Ives where everything's booked so far in advance. I didn't even try and attempt the places that I had shortlisted on this trip. So I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna eat there or just drink there, but I had a look at the menu and they had a vegan kind of beetroot falafel with this coconut sauce, roasted veggies and salad and kind of pita breads. And I was like, ooh, after all the unhealthy things that I've eaten on this trip, this sounds great. I haven't eaten a vegetable in a while, so let's have all the veggies. Um, and I have to say it was really incredible, like great it, great spices with the beetroot falafel, um, very um, like not at all dried out, like I was gonna say the word moist, but I, I just said it, but I hate it. Um, anyways, so really, really like well done. And then I had um, a local gin, but honestly I didn't get the name of it, but I had a passion fruit and orange blossom gin with Mediterranean tonic in like a big goblet. And I had two of them, um, fantastic. I nursed them over like a couple hours, just enjoying kind of the warm sun, letting the sun go down, and actually started to get a bit chilly there. And, you know, just enjoyed it. I don't think there's gonna be a big sunset tonight because I've, I've come back to the hotel before sunset, which is at like 8.20, 8.30. But as like the kind of fog started to roll in and the sun started to diminish, just the most beautiful tint and hue falls over kind of the kind of harbor area of St. Ives. And it was really cute because all of us that were on this small section of the terrace together, we were all kind of like looking at the ocean and like spotting the seals. So that was quite fun. I thought everyone everyone in general has just been so friendly here, so that's been lovely. And then yeah, so now I am back at my hotel room. I need to pack and I'm just gonna take it easy. I wanna get up early tomorrow and shower and get ready to check out, so 
that's the game plan but um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit that like button that really helps this channel please leave a comment have you been to St. Ives what did you love doing was there a restaurant that you ate at that was fantastic yes you can rub it in that you were smart and planned and booked and that I didn't please book your restaurants ahead of time in St. Ives if you want to eat anywhere good um, although even though I ate good places without it I'm just offering the advice um, but yeah share share your advice on St. Ives because sharing is caring on this channel and we want to help travelers out and then um, if you like this kind of content please subscribe to my YouTube channel because you'll see more travel and lifestyle content just like this so thanks again guys and I will see you soon